Hey, what's going on? Have you ever wanted to embed a video on your website just like this on this page and all of a sudden uh, you're like, man, why are these suggested videos showing up or popping up at the end of my video? How do I get rid of these? And I go to YouTube and they don't, they, they used to have that option where it said to uncheck suggested videos. Now they no longer have that on their embed options. I was like, what the heck? How do I do that? So I went on a big research on how to do it myself because I actually uh, believe there's some pages on your website that you shouldn't be linking to other videos. And, and the only other solution is to do like a paid hosting service like Wistia. Well, uh, how do you do it on YouTube still and not have to use your bandwidth and still be able to make it uh, semi-decent for people to view your video and not go to the next page? So we're gonna share, I'm actually gonna be sharing two strategies on how to do this. Uh, I learned them both recently and I started applying them and it works really awesome. And uh, keep in mind that this video is as of July 2019 because there's a lot of other videos out there that teach you one way that don't no longer works anymore. Uh, but as of July of 2019, this strategy is flawless. All right, so let's get into the video. So step one, there's actually gonna be a couple steps in order to do this. Uh, so make sure you pay close attention. If you don't know who I am, by the way, my name is Mike Hobbs, been full-time in the internet marketing space since 2007. You can go to my website at whoismikehobbs.com for more information. So let's get into the steps. So step number one in this little document right here, I'll actually link this document below, by the way, we're gonna be referring to this quite a bit, but uh, their iframe player API document they actually uh, have this code that you can put into the embed code where it says right here under related videos code, you used to be able to put this in your, your YouTube video and it would get rid of all related videos. They actually changed that as of September 25th of 2018 to if you actually put this little code in your, in your embed code, I'll show you that code, um, it will now uh, if you put it there, it'll disable suggested videos from other people, but it will still put related videos from your same channel at the end of your video. So that, so people are looking at this and there's like, there's no way around it. What do I do, right? Because your videos will still show up even though random people's videos won't. But there is a workaround. So step number one, here's the workaround, is you need a clean slate YouTube channel uh, specifically for videos that you don't want that suggested videos to show up at the end or a channel you have that all the videos are unlisted. So you just need to make sure you have a channel that's completely blank or one that's all the videos on that channel are unlisted. Uh, so this channel, I have obviously no videos on there. Um, so what you do is you upload your video. You don't want any suggested videos at the end to that channel and you make it unlisted. So once it's unlisted, then step number two is to go to the video and then right here, let me just show you. So you go to the actual video that you uploaded, make sure again, it's unlisted right there. And then you're gonna click on the share button and you're gonna click on the embed button and then you're gonna grab the code just like this. And now we're going to throw that into a notepad like this, okay? And now we need to edit some of this code. Now the cool thing on that document, that API document, is they give us some of the codes that we can use. So the four main ones that I like, and I'll tell you them right now, are number one, the REL, which is getting rid of related videos. Uh, another one I like is modest branding, okay? Another one I use quite often is right autoplay and then controls. So here's here's how these work. So I'll just throw them down here. And what you do, autoplay equals one, controls equals zero, that gets rid of the controls. REL equals zero, gets rid of the related videos. Modest branding equals one, gets rid of the YouTube uh, logo. Okay, so that's what these four do. So let's go ahead and modify the code the way we want it. So we're just going to get rid of related videos because that's why you came to this video. So right here after the YouTube URL, right before the parentheses, you're going to do a question mark. Okay, that starts it off. So I'll show you how you add multiple, but the first one you always want to put a question mark 
and then you'll throw in the REL equals zero. If you want any other ones, you have to put an and sign. So if I, let's say I want modest branding, then I'm gonna put and, then the modest branding one. So I'm gonna do uh, autoplay next. So we'll do and, okay, autoplay equals one. So those are the two I'm gonna do. Now keep in mind, if you're only doing one, it's just gonna be a question mark. If you're doing two, you're gonna have question mark is for the first one, then and for the second one, then you're gonna do another and for any subsequent ones after that. So let's make sure it's question mark, then and, then and, okay, uh, for any other ones. Uh, if you just have one, then it's just one question mark, okay? So that's how you do the code um, on there. Okay, so now all we need to do is copy this code over there. And actually, there's one error that I have is you wanna make sure you don't have these capital. Word document actually made them capital for me. I don't know why, but just autocorrect or something. So make sure they're lowercase, otherwise they don't work. So I just wanna make sure I clear that up. Make sure these are, when you're putting, when you're editing the code, type it in there, make sure they're lowercase, otherwise they won't work, okay? So then you're gonna grab the code, you're gonna go over to a website builder that you have, uh, make sure you have an HTML box that you can access on your website builder, whatever one uh, you are using, and it, it doesn't really matter what website builder you have, as long as you can put an HTML box, a custom one, then you can put this code in there, because you can't do it with the URL, uh, so you need to make sure you have the code in order to do this. So you'll save it a couple times, then you'll click preview and we'll see how it goes. So the autoplay worked, awesome. So the autoplay worked. Now we need to check at the end of the video and see if the related videos pop up. See you guys in the next video, bye for now. All right, there we go. So related videos are no longer there and that's only because uh, the two things happened. We, we had a clean slate channel and we had the code that we edited with the rel equals zero now again if i want to here's what's another here's another cool option you have is if you don't want this youtube logo down there you can actually put this uh, modest branding one in there that's why i'd say i use this quite often is you just do an and uh, modest branding equals one make sure lowercase uh, for some reason if it's uppercase it doesn't work so believe it or not that's kind of a weird to me, that's weird, but apparently that's uh, YouTube for you, <laughs> right? Uh, so you'll just throw in that uh, code there. You click on save now a couple times, wait a few seconds. Sometimes whatever page builder you're using could take a minute or so to update, but let's go check it out. Hey, what's going Look on, at that. Friends? YouTube is gone. The YouTube logo is gone. Uh, now, the only time that doesn't work, the modest branding doesn't work, is if you get rid of the controls. So if I go over here, and I edit this code and I add the and controls equals zero to the code and I get rid of the player controls. We, and then we go to preview. The, hey, they on? add the YouTube logo back there, but the, the controls are gone. Now, one thing that I was looking for was this title, how to get rid of the title and I can't figure out how to do that. Uh, they actually in there a little document that I've been referencing, they actually have it as a show info code right here. You used to be able to you used to be able to just do show info zero and that would get rid of the title, but they said um, they do not want to do that anymore. So they basically, you know, they got rid of that after September 25th, 2018. So now they are no longer allowing you to get rid of the title. So that's basically how this strategy works. So that's strategy number one. Hopefully you got value from that. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Strategy number two is actually utilizing Google Drive, uh, which is pretty cool. You basically just go to Google Drive, you click new, you upload your file. It takes about 10 minutes to process. I don't know why it took that long, but it just did. Uh, once your video shows up here, you click on the video, Sometimes it'll say, hey, Mike Hobbs here. <laughs> Sometimes it'll say, you know, download. It's not done processing. So just wait till it's done processing. Once it's done processing, open up the video. And then at the very top right, there's a little three dots. You grab those three dots. And then what you do is you click on share. And I think you have to first do, you know, share. 
and then you copy this link. I don't know why you have to do it this way, uh, but you copy the link, you get a link that you can view, like get shareable link. And then for whatever reason, um, you have to go to that link for the embed code to show up. So you go to the link, so it's still the same video, right? But now the embed option will show up. So once you click the three dots, now at the bottom it says embed item. So I don't know why you have to, to go to the video link first before you get the embed item, but whatever. So then you'll just click on embed item and then you'll grab the code from there. And then from there, you'll throw that in your trusty little document here. And what's cool is you don't have to edit any of this code. That can just go right into your builder uh, just like so. Click on save. Preview. And now when they click play. Hey, my cop. There we go. It looks like YouTube, but it's not, right? It's a Google uh, Drive video. And then at the end, as you can see. Guys, in the next video. Bye for now. Now, one benefit to the Google Drive is there's no title. So as you can see that there's no title at the top right there. So that's the two methods of how to get rid of the suggested videos. I hope you got value from this. Go ahead and comment and leave me your feedback below this video. If you want to uh, find out more about myself, go to whoismycobs.com. I have a 4G marketing plan checklist also in the description uh, on how to generate more leads in the internet marketing space. And uh, again, if you got value, let me know below. And also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be uploading more marketing tips and other uh, helpful tips for you to build your business. So with that, appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.